Sometime today, I'll get it on. Man, you bastard, come on. Ford 3.5 liter EcoBoost, it's no surprise that we are doing cam phasers again. I wanna show you guys today a trick that I have learned that goes all the way back to the 5.4.3 valve days. If any of you guys have ever worked on 5.4s, I'm sure you know what this tool is. This was the tool that they used to replace cam phasers on the 5.4.3 valve without actually removing the front cover. You stick it down and wedge it in between the two chain guides. So unfortunately with the 3.5 EcoBoost, we cannot do this without removing the front cover, but this little tool right here does save us a good amount of time because under warranty and most of the time anyways we're not replacing the tensioners the guides or the chain so the only other thing we're going to need besides this wedge here is the normal cam holding tool that we have for the 3.5 eco boost this applies to the 17 of the 3.5 eco boost as well first thing we're going to do is roll the cams over because they're not lined up for our cam tool to go on So once we rotate that up, we was able to get the cam tool on here. We're gonna use our wedge to go down in, just like so. Next thing we gotta do is we're gonna mark where we need to be when we go back. Do that with the paint pen here. That one. It's actually only one tooth off from being lined up with the actual marks. Also gonna make on the mark on the bottom just to be sure. Now all we have to do is remove these bolts. We can remove the phasers and put the chain right back in the same spot and it will still be in time. This saves you a lot of time by not even remove the chain and completely retime everything. Removing guides, tensioners, all that stuff. That's not necessary when we're just replacing the phaser like we are here. Got that wedge in place. Everything on the bottom half will stay. All we gotta do is put the new phasers on. Make sure you're installing the updated, not the old style. You see the new ones, you cannot see the outer spring. Go ahead and line the mark up. Sometime today, I'll get it on. Man, you bastard, come on. And that is how you install cam phasers without removing anything other than these two cam phaser bolts. There you go, people. Save yourself some time.